we always keep on reading comparative data on various factors like FDI, inflation, poverty in India and rest of the world. Most of the time we do comparison of GDP figures that is GDP of India and GDP of other countries. But this comparison would be irrelevant if we make it in local currency that is native currency. Hence, we compare the GDP figures in terms of dollars as it gives better understanding when comparing with respect to some constant. In this video, we will learn one such technique of comparison, a one more constant called PPP. PPP is an abbreviation which has two meanings for two different things. We will talk about the first one in a minute. The second one stands for public private partnership, which is a type of business model and we will cover it in another video. So coming back to the meaning of first PPP, it stands for purchasing power parity. The word parity here means at par or to be equal. PPP simply means a way of measuring what an amount of money will buy in different countries. It is used for making inter-country comparisons in real terms of gross domestic product that is GDP. For this we create a basket of goods and services and compare prices in two or more countries. Example, compare cost of various items between India and its neighbors. We can compare spending on food, clothing, education etc. That is how much it would cost in India and how much it would cost in Nepal or Bangladesh or Sri Lanka. Let's take an example of PPP calculation at product level. The sample product taken here is one liter water bottle. If it costs three dollars in France and two dollars in United States, then to calculate PPP, we divide the price of water bottle between France and the USA that is 3 by 2 or 1.5. This means that the quantity and quality of water you get in $1 in USA you will pay $1.5 that is $0.5 extra in France to obtain the same quantity and quality or to obtain the same volume of water bottle. Thus purchasing power parity represents the number of units of country's currency required to purchase the same amount of goods and services in the domestic market. As for example, purchasing certain things with US dollars in United States and purchasing the same thing with Indian rupees in domestic market of India. Thus, purchasing power parity helps us to understand cost of living in different countries based on purchasing power of various goods and services. It can also be used to understand and compare GDP figures, per capita income, buying powers as well as to understand whether people are rich or poor in countries with high GDP. This video was brought to you by Synergy Study Point Pune. Stay tuned for more such videos. You can also write to us on admin at the rate upscmantra.com. For more information, please visit our website www.upscmantra.com. Thank you.